here again with my Hyundai Tiburon. Um, it's fall, as you can see, so not very long until I store this thing, so I wanted to get as many videos of it out as I can. Um, I apologize for the auto quality. My mic just happened to die right as soon as I got here in the middle of nowhere, so now I just have to rely on my iPhone to hopefully not sound like shit. And I'm right by a highway, so solid location choice on my part, but we're gonna do the best that we can. So for this video today, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about all the things that I like about the car and all the things that I despise about the car. Obviously, as you can tell, I, I love this car, so there's not too much to complain about, but you know, being a 2008 Hyundai, you know there's gonna be a couple quality issues. Also, ignore my front plate. It fell off and took a tumble down the road. Hopefully it doesn't fall, it probably will. So I'm just gonna start again with the exterior and kind of everything about that. Overall, I think the design, it's probably one of the most well-designed cars I've probably ever seen. The lines of it, all the little thought out details, like I'll kind of explain some things. So especially the headlights, like if you see all the details they kind of put into these headlights, and this is a 2008 Hyundai, so it kind of says a lot, um, especially having black bezel headlights and on a Hyundai and in 2008 I just think was a great call and it still helps the car have like this timeless design. The amount of thought that the designers put into both the rear, the front, kind of all, there is no bad angles of this car and that's something that I was really impressed by. The closer you look at this car the more you kind of notice things so you can see the kind of, I don't really know what to call that, but the design around the headlights, those little raised spikes. It carries into the design of the fog lights, you can see around there. Also again, you can see it in the tail lights. So just all these like little details, like it's not just a, a red tail light. And you can kind of see as I go around, just like the body lines of the car are great. Like the way that the trunk, the shape of the trunk, the kind of fast back look of the car, the super long hood for a Hyundai too, I'm gonna say that a lot. And even from this view, you can see again, everything kind of flows together. And especially the bump of the fenders, the door, it all kind of like cohesively moves. I think it really supports the fact that this is just a overall well-designed car. Uh, this car came with a number of different spoilers. This is kind of the low-rise one, but it's nice that they designed different spoilers for different trims of the car. The wheels, I also think, were designed really well. They suit the car really well. They look awesome, especially painted black. A lot of people think I usually have aftermarket wheels too, so I think that's an, a big plus. And then in the back, one thing I forgot to mention is the dual exhaust. It makes it look a lot more aggressive and just gives it a lot more of a presence on the road. So with the whole exterior, there's not many things that I hate, as you can probably tell. Uh, the few things I would point out, I'm going to say what everyone says, but the front grille, it, it's not too bad. It's, it's grown on me. You can do some nice things with it. You can just leave it black and the rest of the car can be painted another color, which does look pretty cool. If you've seen the Hannah bumpers, I think, I don't know why they didn't do that. I think a lot of people don't know why. And then of course, the number one thing is the nose vent. That's what I call it. I hate the look of this thing. It's good that the car is black, that you can't really, it doesn't like jump out at you, but definitely when they're different colors, it does. And a lot of people figure out ways to block them out. I'm kind of working on that, but it's kind of a pain. Now this is something that, again, comes back to the fact that this is a 2008 Hyundai. I really hate the sound the doors make. So it sounds like a pretty much like a normal door. Closes pretty nicely. But if you roll the windows down, I don't know if you heard that. It sounds like everything inside the door shakes. It just sounds super clunky, but I mean, small thing to put up with. And then at this point, I feel like it's just common practice to say, but I really hate the rear windshield wiper. You can remove it. Um, I have a dash cam in there, so I do like to keep it on, but I'm 
every once in a while I think about taking this thing off. I probably will eventually. Maybe also the spoiler. I go back and forth with that. But this, it's just like all you see is this big ass wiper. So moving on to the interior, um, like I've said in previous videos, I think the interior was designed super well for the time. There's not really that much that I don't like about it. All the stitching and just the materials were done really well. The interior lighting for the time was really cool as well. It's really nice. It feels kind of like an infinity to have blue, white, and red rather than just like orange or red. Comes to the plastics of the car, there is a good amount of plastic pieces obviously. The center console here is hard plastic. Uh, the pillars are hard plastic. And the back area here, it is nice though that the dash and the doors are actually this um, soft touch I would say you can press it in I think that's a great material to use especially for an older car so I've never seen these crack before and they still look great super easy to clean and it just gives the car a way more quality feel to it I actually really like the um, the sun visors and obviously they come off and you can swivel them around to cover the sun as most do the one nice thing about them that I don't see very often is they actually still have the little plastic sun shades that you can pull out to get some extra coverage on the sun I love when cars have this I don't know why some don't I think it's a brilliant idea and I'm super glad that the Tiburon actually has them one of the best features of this car is the hatch the seats go down, they're really easy to fold down. It's just a button if I can press it and not struggle. Yeah, sometimes those buttons are really hard to press in. This just comes right off. You just pull it off of a little hinge right there. And then there's hooks up there so that you can just take that whole thing off. You can put the seats down. You can fit like a mattress in here. There are a few things that I am not a fan of here. And I would start with actually the door handles. So they don't look like there's anything wrong with them, but if you know anyone with a Tiburon, you'll know that these are the most flimsy door handles that you'll ever use. You can see that is a very thin piece of plastic. It's super flimsy and these things will snap right in half. Gotta close. That's another thing that's not great is that ding will, as long as the door's open, this thing will ding and it will never stop. When it comes to the seats, they are, they're very nice seats. The only problem is it's absolutely horrible to clean. If you spill anything on these mesh areas, there's times where I've had to get a toothbrush in there and like, um, what's it called, a toothpick. Anything that goes under there, it's just, it's a huge pain. Issue with the sunroof is as much as it looks nice, when it's tilted and tilted all the way back, it will rattle. I'm trying to see if there's anything in here that I can tighten, but for now, it's flimsy. Like, I can go out there and shake that pan, it'll move, it'll move up and down. So you do hear that. One of those things where you just turn the music a little bit louder. But it is a lot better, I find, when it's tilted all the way back. It doesn't make as much noise. So the driving quality of this car, it is smooth when you're on smooth roads. Um, if you have not so great roads, especially like if you live in Canada, it's not gonna be fun a good amount of the time. I do have coilovers and a strut bar, so it may also be a bit more bumpy for me than it would be a stock Tiburon. A good majority of them though, no matter what, and also I think it is due to the age and also being Hyundai that they're pretty clunky, which you might hear now. They are, the camera will probably make it look a lot worse than it actually is, but it is to an extent not very comfortable. The seats are comfortable, I'll say that, like being inside the car is pretty comfortable, but the ride quality definitely isn't. handle corners 
fares surprisingly well. Even before my strut bar and lowering the car, it still took corners pretty well. The brakes are really good, they're very responsive. So yeah, that's everything that I love and hate about my 2008 Hyundai Tiburon. Let me know in the comments if you agree or anything else you want to see from this car before I throw it in a barn for six months. I do have a couple more ideas, so hopefully I can get those out before that.